Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today we're working on the low poly female character. In today's episode we're working on clothing and I'll be focusing on creating a jumper or sweater depending on where you're from. Now this is all part of a series so make sure you've checked out the playlist in the description. There's also lots of playlists with free courses on my channel. If you like what I do then I've got a paid for character course which is very detailed with a sculpting workflow going from nothing to a detailed character that moves around in a game engine. And that's all from a beginner's perspective. Okay, so here's where I got up to and I decided to texture my character like this. And now I want to add a jumper or sweater or jacket even. So I'll go into edit mode. And there's a couple of ways of doing this really, because if you want to take it into a game engine and you want the jacket to be a separate item that the character maybe picks up and then starts wearing, then you'll need the other clothing on the character as well. However, if your character is only ever going to wear this jumper or jacket, you may not need them. I'm going to assume we need the jumper as a separate object and I'll come into the top in face mode with three, C to go to circle select and I'll paint these faces here and down the arm to there. That's where my jumper's gonna go. And just underneath here as well, around the back, C to circle select and paint those ones in as well. Just have a double check, make sure I've got them all. Oh, the one's at the top there as well. Okay, I've accidentally selected some extra ones just there, so I'll middle click on those with circle select to get rid of those. And that one there, and just have another double check, make sure I've got them all this time. Oh, there we go, one more, finally got there. Okay, now I want to duplicate these, but before I do that, I'm going to turn off auto merge. If you leave that on, if you merge your vertices, they'll just join back together because they're in the same space. So I'll turn that off, shift D to duplicate, and right click. Alt S to scale, to scale it up by the normals, and we've got a simple jumper. I like to separate it to work on it, so I'll press P to separate by selection. You can also do loose parts there, to be honest, because it is the only loose part. And now we can start editing this shape and make it into a fun jumper. I suggest you have some reference images. Here's some that I grabbed into my PureF file, just so you can see how jumpers sort of slop around and hang off people and where there might be type bits, baggy bits, and so forth. So with that in mind, I'm going to come over the top of the belt and down quite low. So into edit mode with this one. So I'll have to go back into object mode, choose this object and into edit mode. Two to go to edge mode, alt left click to select those bottom edges. And I did actually cut a bit out for the belt there. So I've actually got two edges here, which isn't so good. I'll go back to vertex mode and delete one of these. So control X, two to go to edge mode and Alt left click to select that edge loop, E to extrude downwards and to about there and we'll come down to about here I think, a sort of long jumper. So we've got a bit of editing to do, I'll select these at the back here and pull them outwards, this one at the front here, pull it outwards and into edge mode, so just a bit of editing. If you need to add another loop cut in with Control R. And I'm just moving it out so it sits above the other clothing. So I'm just editing the shape very slightly so it looks more like a jumper. It's not going to be so tight around the chest. So we can average those out and maybe pull it back in. And this section up here we can pull back down. It's two different colours at the moment which looks a bit odd. So I'm going to go to object mode with tab and delete the ones I'm not using and keep it on just white. Because there's a few others using the white material, like the hair at the moment and the eyes, I think I'll actually create a new one. So I'll create a new material slot and call this jumper. Give it a slightly off white and I'll delete the original. So we're left with the jumper and put the roughness up. Okay, so we've got something that looks a bit like a jumper at the moment. I find that in my reference images, you get a sort of slope down here as the material collects at the end. So I'll go in and do that. I'll select these ones and pull them up slightly. Do a few loop cuts down the end here. And then make this a bit more baggy around the end here. And then I'll pull some of these in as if there's some creases. And there we've got a sort of baggy end to our jumper. Just a bit of tidying up needed. Let's go to a material preview mode so we can actually see the other colors on our object. And that's sort of working. Let's say we wanted to do something unusual with the neck. I've got a jumper here that has this interesting sort of roughly bit. So I'll try and mimic that on my character. So I'll cut in here. So I've got a 
edge selection that goes around. And I'll cut up here as well to make it easier to edit. And then I can select these two and control X to dissolve the edges and just round out the top there. And then three to go to face mode, select this edge loop and E to extrude upwards. It depends how rounded you want to go, but maybe a bit more. So I'll select this edge loop around here and control B to bevel this time and maybe scale that out. And we've got a sort of top roughly bit there. <laughs> Just a bit of editing again. And that looks kind of fun. Now, if you want to change something maybe like the boots, for example, and we've got fairly high boots with this sort of top section here, and maybe you wanted to make them smaller, Let's click on that object, go to edit mode, and you'd think it would be a simple case of selecting these face loops, and then G to grab and pull them down, but it does change the shape of the legs. So you do have to be a bit careful of that. You can reshape from here and pull them in, or it's probably better just to take those edge loops that you've got, if I get that one as well, delete them and delete the faces, and then go to edge mode, select those two edge loops and control E bridge edge loops. Then you can reposition the top of your boots where you like, then redo the edit if you want a top that scales out, or in this case I think just a loop cut here, bring it down and then bring it in slightly and scale this one out. Then of course interface mode, select those faces and let's give it the skin material. I think the skin needs to be a tiny bit more pinky but still. There we go. Okay, so do watch out for that with the editing of the clothing if it's attached to your main character. And there's some ideas about how you can add clothing as a separate object. And I feel like she needs some socks. So I'll come into here and assign some socks there as well. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you're still enjoying the process. One last thing that I have noticed is that I have forgotten for many of these items to up the roughness. Can you see the difference that makes when I bring the roughness high? It doesn't reflect as much. You can even bring the specular right down as well to get rid of these severe highlights. But generally speaking, I do prefer higher roughness values, as you can see there. Okay, so hopefully you're still enjoying this project and let me know if you've got any comments or thoughts. In the next session, we'll talk about animating. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.